Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. I'm continuing my playthrough of the SNES classic, The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past, and now return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. And we're back. Uh, if you remember from the last episode, I spent a lot of time digging in this stupid field. Uh, in here, in, in the dark world, is a piece of heart. It is in a random location. And, uh, so yeah, you, you pay the dude the, 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 you pay the dude the rupees and eh, he takes your chances. And, and I did start off with uh, 999 rupees before uh, undertaking this endeavor. So uh, you will pick up a fair number of rupees along the way because that is part of the things that you can dig up. Uh, however, comma, that is not everything that you can dig up. So be mindful of that. All right. I don't know why I'm looking for rupees like uh, like I'm going to be that short. Uh <clears throat> Oh yeah, this guy plays a nice little mini game. You, you can, have, if you're pretty good with the bow, you you can make some you can make some decent money on that. Uh, what I need to do, I can't get past there yet. All right, what I need to do is I need to grab my magic mirror because part of the reason why we're over here is to finish up the deal with the. Um, the game says flute. This is the first instance of an ocarina showing up. And uh, it, it is kind of worth uh, keeping that in mind, too. Oh! Well, hello. I probably shouldn't have left that right... Oh! Oh, wait a second. Is this not where I thought it was? I thought this was just outside the village. Oh! Okay, there's the one. Okay, yeah, no, 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 th this is about where I thought it was. I I, I thought I was one uh, one platform higher up. All right, so, uh... Oh, 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 you usually have rupees. You usually have rupees. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Remember this guy? He's the one who told you something about his son who liked to play the flute. <laughs> What's with the yellow card? Come on now. Oh, there we go. You gotta stand like right up to his ear. <laughs> Deaf as all. Get out. I mean... Yeah, I know. That is what those bees said. Uh, okay, mumble, mumble. Oh, this is my son's flute. Did you meet my son? Where is he? Is he all right? Insert, he is forever trapped between the light and the dark world, never to return again. Oh, I see. Well, you can tell... Well, I can tell what you want to say by the look in your eyes. Would you keep the flute? And will you play its sweet melody for the bird in the village square? I beg of you, please. My son would probably want it this way. But still, I wish I could see him once more. Okay. So the flute we're going to keep anyway. The ocarina we're... Let's call it an ocarina. Oh, well, I don't know. I'm always torn. Do I, do I want to go ahead and be all like... It's a stinking ocarina. I forgot. Oh, oh, you bum. Oop, wrong button. I thought I had the uh, boomerangs. Uh, and before I forget, I should probably also go over here. So I can go in here. Uh... I'm topped out on bombs, but there's usually some arrows in here, too. And, oh, 
There's usually at least a few more arrows, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. There we go. There we go. Let's, uh, you know what? Because I'd rather have that. All right, we need to go to the weather vane in the middle of the square. Which is here. And now we finish up the flute quest by playing the flute here. I may have to find the, uh, the sheet music for this. <gasps> it's a duck! Quack. Half like. <laughs> now, here's the nice deal. Uh, w now, every time we blow the flute, the bird will appear. <laughs> I know, I know. It's an ocarina. Every time... Uh, now, now that... Now that we have finished that entire quest line, uh, every time we play the ocarina, the duck will appear out of nowhere. I mean, it says bird. It's a duck. And it will take us to one of nine locations on the map. So we finally, finally, finally have a way of fast traveling around, <laughs> around this map. Oh. About time. Okay. So, let's uh, let's get out of the map. Because there's a couple other things that we need to do while we're here. And before we get down to the next dungeon. I keep forgetting this place is crawling with fools. Oh. I don't remember seeing anything special about this. But just to check. Since we got the magic hammer of I Thunk You. Hello, Beach Duck. That was... That was disappointing. That was kind of disappointing. Uh, I, I wonder if that'll come back later. Alright, now that we got the hammer, we can come up to the blacksmith shop. Pound that in. And... I know I'm going to need the magic powder next. Hold on. Got any loose change hiding in these shrubs? No. Okay. Let's uh, jump down the well. Ah. All right, and it was this one. Yes, this one. You find the shrine, you toss some magic powder, and we get the mad batter. <laughs> hey, blast you for waking me from my deep, dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now, I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Er, is that okay with you, sir? <laughs> I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. That's always fun. Uh, and no, he didn't curse you. That one half on your magic meter means that everything that uses magic uses half what it did before. So he effectively doubled your magic. He halved the cost, not the available magic. Which is always fun. Okay, so we got that. Now we need to go fetch another piece of heart. After we escape from the mini dungeon under the well. <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 Peace out. I accidentally hit a chicken. Oh, That tree used to always have a rupee. Is that everything over here? Yeah, that was everything over here on this side. There's more over by this building in the dark world. But we've got to get a couple of things squared away first. Now... 
Hi! Hi, friend. We just need to head north a smidge. there. Over here, we need to head on up. Hang on, I want to charge this up before these guys come. And ha! Uh, was it this one? I don't know. Like, well, that gives you apples, which are nice. Uh, each apple restores one heart worth of health. And I think this was one of the trees that if you pulled instead of pushed... No, not that one. Oh, well, either way, if you remember, there was a pair of lumberjacks that said there was something really weird about that tree. Now that they're not there... Are they in the building? No, they, they just, like, totally pieced out. Now that they're not there, and you notice the color difference in the leaves... We can do a quick dash. And we found us another secret. So, if... Do we have... Oh, good. I, I need to catch one anyway. You caught a fairy. Keep it in a bottle. Uh... Until I can find the fourth bottle, uh, which should be today on the live stream, and or this week if you're watching this later on YouTube. All right, so we got some fairies. There will always be some fairies down there. So if you find yourself short, this is a quick and easy place to get some. And we found us a piece of heart, which completes one more. Always nice, especially before you go spelunking in a dungeon. Now, what do we need to do? We need to, we need to call the duck. <laughs> Mr. Ducksworth, take us to the swamp. Uh, is there something else we gotta do there first? Yes. Oh, 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 right in front of everybody. Thank you for that. I thought you liked me. All right, let's get the... Let, let's not have the <laughs> the ocarina on. And what we need to do is... All right. Wait a second. This one... Go north. And somewhere up here is going to be a rock with a portal under it. Although, since I'm down here, we're, we're going to continue doing things slightly. Oh, wait, no, no, no. That's right. We got to do that from the Dark World side. Never mind. All right, so we need to go north. Thank you, good sir. Huzzah! Nope. Uh... Well, shoot. Oh, there it is. I think. No, you don't need to actually hammer all three of them down. I'm just a completionist like that. There's our portal. Oh yeah, and you gotta watch out. There are critters in this part of the swamp that can actually st 
steal your shield and various and sundry other items. They will be an absolute royal pain. I think those are them if I remember right. I'm not sure I want to stick around long enough to find out. Uh, there are a couple of magic shops that will be happy to sell you another shield. For a small price. Okay, for a not so small price. Bam! Hi, friend. Take some rupees, but don't tell... Oh, you're going to give me more than I need to top off, are you? Yep, okay. 300 rupees. I can only accept 60. Although if you didn't max out your arrow and bomb capacity, that would be a nice little cash infusion to uh, to make that happen. All right, now I need one more thing. I need to go down to the southwest corner without losing anything. Oh, oh, come on. Uh, are we there yet? Nope. Ow! Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're not a real rock. <laughs> Whoopsie. So. I don't know why I'm bothering. Ooh. I mean, other than money is always nice. Nope. Nothing under there. Hi, friend. Yep, this is where I want to be. But first, I just assume not... I'd rather not have somebody tossing bombs while I come down here into this curiously shaped, staked out area. And bibbity bobbity boo. We end up on that ridge there where we. Oh, I forgot. I need the Book of Medora. Hold up the Master's Sword and you will get the magic of. Bumbles. <laughs> that poor vulture. This is the Bombos Medallion. Its magic makes the ground explode with power. Watch your magic me. Alright, so we got all three medallions. We got Quake and Ether and Bombos. Um I can't remember if it's Bombos or Quake. One of the two you need for one of the dungeon entrances. You won't be able to get in without it. Uh, Ether, I know you definitely need for a different dungeon entrance. You can't get in without it. Um, and the third is just kind of nice to have. So with that, that is everything we need there. Sorry, trying to follow my notes. Googly -moogly. It's struggling to, uh... <laughs> I thought well, my computer could handle that. Alright, let's get to the dungeon, and then I'll probably end up taking a little break. We need to go back to the dark world. For a smidge. For a smidge. For a little bit. Hi, friend. I would greatly appreciate it if you were not there anymore. No? Okay. Oh! It's right there, right around the corner.
Oh, those guys. Oh, just like on the light side, there appears... Oh, you push. Pull. No. An on Junior. It is I. Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. It will only matter for this dungeon. <laughs> if the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. This time, at least. Wait, is that not what that said? So we've got a little canal here with a room that we can't get to unless it's flooded. And we're over here? Hmm, I wonder what he could mean. We'll find out in the next episode. Well, that was fun. And I hope you had fun too. Next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow is a live stream day. Current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, follow me there. You'll get notified when I go live. And you'll be able to chat along as we record the next six episodes. You'll also be able to join along for some of the other stuff I do on Twitch. It's all up there on the channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel here. It really helps out. If you click the bell, you get notified of all the other stuff that goes up on the channel as well, like CoffeeCraft Livestream Archives, Future Games Revisited Episodes, and uh, various other stuff that strikes my fancy. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, quips, queries, quotes, comments, complaints, or quibbles, leave them in the comments below. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.